Good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Today is your 162nd day of your Godly Blessing. And before we go ahead, as you know, and always, this is the link above. Yoga asans, your diet, the way to sleep, the way to do exercises on your chair also. When you're at home, everything is mentioned over here. How to lose weight and how to increase your flexibility. Have a look and then let's go ahead with this today's blessing. So what does Baba today have to tell us? Baba says, you have to become like an angel in your life. Now, how do you become an angel, a God's angel? Because angels, we believe that they are somebody who are always flying up in the sky or in the air. And we think they are, have their white clothes on. And they are somebody who are created by God. Yes, you're very right. You're very true. But God says angels are nobody but human beings who are lighter in their thoughts, who are powerful in their thoughts. So let's go ahead and let's understand what Baba has to say to define a angel and angel. So Baba says in today's blessing, May you be one in white clothes with a white light. So an angel is in white clothes. Purity. White is the symbol of purity. That means they can never have any distinction towards any caste, breed, religion, sect, color or any gender. They can never see anybody through their physical eyes, but they can only see everybody through their spiritual eyes. They never differentiate anybody on any aspect. They don't differentiate anybody on their language, on their color, on their caste or anything. And that's how you and I can become an angel when we stop differentiating people on the basis of all these aspects, which are very body conscious and very negative and most impure. God says, I don't have a body. So when you think of yourself as a body, and you look at other people also on the terms of body, your mind becomes impure, you differentiate, you create multiple thoughts and you yourself become peaceless because of that reason. Why am I ocean of peace? Why am I ocean of love and happiness? Because I don't look at all of you children as a body, but I see you as a soul and I know that you souls are my children. That's what God has a message for us. He says, you are my children, not the physical you physically have your own physical parents, but I am the father of you souls. So when I look at you as a soul, why do you look at everybody as a physical body? And because of which you create all distinctions, you get into lustful activities, you get into greed, you get into ego and jealousy just by comparing yourself on physical basis with physical different attributes. So God says that's where you can never become an angel to anybody in their life. You'll always do the work or you even if you try to help somebody, you will want something in return. But I don't want anything in return. Why? Because God says I don't have a body. So that's why I don't expect. I don't want anything in return. That's why I'm the most benevolent benefactor in the world who does every form of service without wanting anything in return. Now, if you also think of yourself as a soul and not a body, then you can also start practicing and become my true child and become an angel for anybody in their life. So Baba says, may you be one in white clothes, like an angel, with a white light. White light means God is an energy, a light who is white in color. We souls are also white light, but we are dark now. Why? Because we are engaged in lustful activities. We are engaged in comparison, competition with people, putting people down, finding faults in others, looking at negativity in others, and uh, complaining and comparing. And Baba says, that's where... You white light children have become dark light. I have come down on earth to make you white light again, as pure as me, because you are the children of the purifier soul, an ocean of peace and purity. So then Baba says in details, and give a vision of an avyakt angelic form while in a corporeal form. That even if you are in a body, but when people meet you, when you are on people, people see not your physical body because you are not conscious of your physical self so automatically people won't be focused on your physical beauty or your physical body rather people will be focused on you as a soul as what you are emanating from within what you are reflecting from within and they'll feel that calmness and coolness around you and the peace around you and they'll feel that you're an angel in their life so let's go into details more just as the sound is spreading in all directions of these people who are dressed in white clothes that's what people say Brahma Kumaris wear white clothes as if they are spinsters or they are divorcees or uh, they give so many other reasons but God says that's not the reason. 
so white is a symbol of purity and white is a white is a symbol of simplicity that i didn't need to every day get up in the morning and think of changing clothes and wearing what clothes so that i look beautiful no not the i i this i the soul have to look beautiful in god's eyes not the physical outside me must look beautiful all the time god says when people focus on your physical beauty and not you on soul level then they'll never know you and you'll always feel empty in your life that's the reason of feeling emptiness in any relationship that people only look at you physically or your physical attributes or your physical achievements that could be anything around you which you've accumulated throughout your life so god says just as the sound is spreading in all directions of these people who are dressed in white clothes and where they have come from in the same way now grant every one a vision of your angel form not just should people be looking at your white clothes and praising you that you are living a life of complete celibacy or purity but people should now start seeing your true self the inner white light just like god is white light and ocean of light you should also be seen as white light so baba says your angelic form not just white clothes but you are real angel you are not somebody who is a wolf in a sheep's clothing but you are somebody who is wearing the true white color and inside also you are white and pure not just outside you are showing that you are wearing white clothes so you are pure that's very important god teaches us at brahma kumaris baba says this is known as a double form of service inside out you are one and the same so then baba says in today's blessing that this is known as a double form of service that people see you inside out as one and the same just as clouds are dispersed everywhere like in darjeeling we have fog everywhere sometimes we feel as if we are amongst the clouds so god says they are dispersed everywhere in the same way become present everywhere in your angelic form so that wherever they look they only see angels everywhere so we do that practice in brahma kumaris we go in a meditation pose and we leave a body not just leave a body like leaving it we are within a body but through our thoughts we leave with the help of our aura body or the angelic body provided it's pure it's light if you're full of tensions if you're full of your own wants and desires i want this i want that i want name i want fame and god says you are very heavy in your thoughts you are very heavy physically you are very body conscious so you cannot fly up in the sky you cannot meditate and feel as if you are detached from your body or you're leaving your body and going into a different realm so god says that can only happen when you have less of desires when you are here to serve everything and everybody as an angel so be light in your mind so in the same way become present everywhere in your angelic form that can only happen when you're light you can flow and you can float over any country any place anybody's home and you can help them you can bless them you can give them energy and power to find solutions you can be thousands of kilometers away and you can still help somebody sitting in taiwan or america or russia or caribbean islands anywhere you can help them out so baba says in the same way become present everywhere in your angelic form so that wherever they look they only see angels everywhere however only when you become detached from your body detached doesn't mean that you are physically totally detached detached means your desires and wants of the body are at the minimal level at that time when you're meditating body and practice touring around with the vehicle of your inner body so this is a physical body then there's a aura body and then there's the soul so the soul can travel through its thoughts to any place we can't travel physically but this angelic form we can travel through our aura body to any place in the world provided that aura body can go till there and they can it'll go till there when you are lighter in your thoughts so you can travel further away if you're lighter if you're traveling heavy with a lot of luggage it becomes difficult for you to drag them along right similarly when you're heavy in your thoughts with so many wants and desires and so many confusions and bad karmas which you have done then you're very heavy in your mind so you cannot meditate easily so baba says touring around the vehicle with your inner body will why will this happen how practice touring around with the vehicle of your inner body will this happen what will happen you'll be able to be as an angelic being your state of mind will become powerful then so we have to practice being soul conscious and not body conscious which we have been discussing in all the blessings 
and that's the only practice which makes you lighter for yourself first and then you can be helpful to somebody else otherwise if you try to help somebody else you become heavy yourself how can you help anybody so i leave you with this beautiful vartan have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti